uh, Angular schematics uh, creating from nothing something. We'll use an example to create a directory and then move the resulting directly directory to your source folder. There's three key files, really two key files, and a way to interface with them in schematics. An index.ts, which every schematics project has, and a collection.json. So the index.ts is where your rule factory lives. Your rule factory is a function that takes in arguments, a uh, set of options, and it returns a rule which is a function that takes a tree and a context and returns a tree. So here we have what is a source and a source in this case called apply is taking a source called URL and so we're now using this URL to determine the source of our uh, files. So there's a directory called files and everything in there will then get rules. So the apply source takes in a source and applies rules to it. And here in this array are the rules. These are provided by the Angular dev kit. This one called template takes all your uh, files in that tree, which have been set up in a way with schematics to use a template language to fill in names of files fill in variables within your files and so on. And then the second rule is a way to move them to the source folder. So we get that directory of files, apply the template rule to them, and then move them to the source folder using the move rule. And finally, we return the tree. In the collection JSON file, this is where you as the writer of schematics define the way that your users will interact with it. And that rule factory that I showed you is accessible on the command line by using the login schematic. And the way that we reference that rule that we wrote is through this factory descriptor. So it's in the login folder of this project in the index file exported as the login function. And when you go to use it, when your developers go to use it, they'll access through the command line and on the command line, what that looks like in testing using the schematic CLI is schematics, login, and then you can pass it a name. When your users will use it, it'll be something similar to this line here. Well, you're probably exporting your schematics as a package namespace to your organization. In this case, it's the Acme organization schematics, colon login, and then Snapchat being the example of the name. This will generate the necessary files in the case where it's successful. So anyone can use this information and this will reduce copy and pasting across projects.